And man, I'm telling you what, so Kenzie comes over with all these sheets of acid it's going, yeah, okay, man, there you go, five dollars a hit, let's go. Who wants to buy five some? Dollars? Five dollars a hit. This is way back when. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm an old fuck. Five dollars. Five dollars. This is way. This is back in the good old days before inflation. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, well, well, fuck, give me, give me, give me, give me two hits of that shit. And I Ooh. said, okay. So I, I take one hit and I pop that shit. I didn't feel shit. So I take my other hit. Didn't feel shit. And then the Valley Girls show up and the one chick I'm trying to get with and I'm getting with her. And I went down there to Kenzie and I said, dude. That shit, that shit ain't worth a fuck, dude. I didn't. My mind was so much on fucking this chick that I wasn't getting off on the acid. So I went down there to McKenzie. I said, bro, I've already taken both hits that I bought from you, and they ain't done shit to me. He goes, I'll tell you what, motherfucker. He goes, I'll tell you what. You give me fucking $10, and I'll give you four hits. You do with what you want. I said, fucking you're on, dude. That's fine with me. So... Me and this chick, I got those those hits. Of course, they didn't do drug. I mean, they smoked pot, but they didn't do you know acid or nothing. So, after, I went upstairs, banged her a couple of times, came back down, <laughs> did me a couple of hits of acid, two more hits, and then it got late in the evening, and she's going like, well, I, I gotta get a ride home because the girls already left. She goes, I said, well, no problem. I'll I'll ride you home. I'll take you home. Yeah. So, so <laughs> I've already done four hits of acid, right, blotter, and. My mind is always, my mind the whole time has been so constantly on this chick. I'm not letting the acid kick in. Well, I take her home. She lives in Richardson. And I live off, I'm, I'm living off of Midway Road in LBJ. I get over to her house. She goes, let's just throw down the back seat of your car one more time. And I said, well, okay, I'm game. So, boy, here we go, slam, bam, thank you, ma'am, do this, all the shit. <laughs> then she gets out. Then we're just kind of getting up, back her out, right, and I'm stepping out of the car, putting my pants on, I'm like going, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I said, you got to get the fuck in your house. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. That shit's fucking just now starting to fucking, air. all four hits are just now starting to fucking hit me, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm driving home, and I'm seeing four lanes, and I'm trying to decipher Man, am I in the right fucking lane? Oh up. my motherfucking ass! I know what I need to do. I need to just stay in the second lane, kind of like the middle lane. Stay in the second lane, and I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Man, I drove home. I don't know how fast I was going or how slow I was going, but I made it home. Didn't get pulled over or nothing, man. When I got back to the house, dude, I was fucked up, dude. I mean, I'm talking about that's the last time I ever did acid. I was so fucked up that that the party was still going on. When I got back, and they were just just people just all over this fucking condo all over they said man i went upstairs and i said fuck this i'm going to bed man i was tripping my balls off i went i went to bed and I, they said i got up my my room was, was a two-story i came down the stairs i walked in the kitchen our garbage can was down here and there's a window right here above the garbage can just a small window like that window right there they said i no. they said i walked over there Raised up the window, flopped my dick out, pissed in the garbage can, closed my window, that's flushing the toilet, <laughs> and walked right back upstairs and went back to bed. Had to get some fresh air. Man, dude, I, I had no idea. The next morning they're going, do you remember what you did? Or, well, actually, that, that wasn't the end of it. <laughs> so, then coming about, it's about 5 o'clock in the morning before dusk hit. I'm, I'm upstairs and I'm just by myself just tripping like a motherfucker, man. Just, I mean, like, oh, fuck, what have I done? What have I done? I'm probably fucked up for life. I mean, I'm getting paranoid, tripping, and just... And so, all the people that were left were all couples. They were all going to go over to this one chick's house and my buddy's house, over to their apartment, and go over there and go off in different rooms and fuck. And I'm upstairs, and they're all coming up there to check on me. They're going, oh, fuck, no, dude. We're not leaving you here by yourself, dude. Come on, you got to go with us. I said... Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on, dude. I'm just fucking, I'm, I'm seeing Tracer. I'm seeing all kind of shit, dude. I mean, fucking the salt shaker and pepper shaker. Everyone's talking, was talking to me, you know. I'm, I'm fucking tripping hard. So we get over there to their apartment. And these all these couples just <laughs> go off into the rooms. Looks like you're watching Tron. And so it's, it's, <laughs> this is Sunday morning. Now, it's Sunday, early Sunday morning. So they set me on the couch. Mm -hmm. And they flipped the TV on. Oh, no. And I know y'all are maybe too young to remember Davy and Goliath. 
this was like an animated clay fucking oh, deal, oh, dude. No. Oh, dude, yeah, clay. Like, I'm so I'm sitting there on the couch, and this fucking Davy and Goliath come on TV, and I'm like going, man, I'm fucking sitting there checking this shit out, fucking going, just flipping the fuck out. So finally, I said, fuck this. I got, I laid down on the couch, man, just said, fuck this, I'm going to block it all out. Well, then the sun starts coming up. And then the birds outside were like fucking, ah, ah. I mean, just massive, dude, man. I walked over to the fucking sliding glass door. And I ripped that motherfucker off. I'm going, shut the fuck up out there, shut up, shut up. And these apartments, man, and my, all the, everybody's coming out of the rooms going, hey, dude, come on, come on, calm down, dude, calm down. I'm going, shut them fucking birds up. They were fucking with me hard, dude, man. I said, man, after that time right there, I said, you know what? I'm done. No more acid for me. I'm done. Yeah. And I've done years and years of all kind of window pain, all that shit, dude. Everything, man. Window pain. You know what window pain is? Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is or not? Is it, isn't it like freaking kind of like huffing? No. What is it then? Window pain was like clear, looked like clear plastic, but it dissolves in your mouth. It's kind of like acid. They called it window pain because it was clear. What it do is it had actually had a drop of acid on there, but it you put it in your mouth and it would dissolve. So you would get it would fuck you up worse than acid. See, you know, I always never, referred to window pain, and it was like meaning like four tabs of acid. Now, well, that, See, that, that I could be back in huffing. I don't no. know. You know no, huffing was just huffing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, back I've in never, my days, some whippets. I'm never no, hell no. People in back in my days, they were huffing. Paint. They were huffing fucking gas and all kind of shit and dying. Yeah, I've never huffed any paint or gas, but I've fucked with some whippets before. <laughs> oh yeah, we used to do whippets and shit. Oh, we yeah. used to. They used to have this shit in a bottle called Locker Room. Uh-huh. Locker Room. And you, and you just open that cap up, pull on your head, feel like you'd be doing like this. Dude. <laughs> if I was ever gonna get back into some degenerate shit, whip don't it ever be the fucking one. That shit went dumb hard. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell y'all what. I hope that boy never ever does it again. He promised me he wouldn't.